talk about summer shows. Hi everyone, I'm Sadrine here on Happy Cool and welcome to a new Diary of a TV Addict. Today I wanted to talk about some of my new favorite summer shows. And look, Tardis is here. What's going on? Do, 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 do. He's like, what are you doing to me? We're getting to the end of summer and it's almost fall, which is a very scary and exciting thing to think about. But before we get to that, I'm happy because I've finally been able to catch up on a lot of shows that I wanted to, including some of the new TV shows that premiered this summer. So I wanted to sort of share some of the ones that I've been watching. I'm not gonna talk about the returning shows that I still watch. I'm just gonna talk about the new shows. So let's do it. I'm not really gonna put them in any specific order. Outlander, it's a new show on stars, which is based on a series of books. I was really looking forward to the show and it did not disappoint. I mean, I'm actually reviewing the show. That's how much I love it. The story is about a woman in the 1940s, 1950s, who gets transported back in the 1800 Scotland and romance ensues. Next is Chasing Life on ABC Family. It just aired its mid-season finale and it kind of left us on a crazy cliffhanger. I was like, are you kidding me? It's about a girl who finds out she has cancer and sort of how she deals with it. It's not as depressing as it sounds and I kind of fell in love with the show. So yeah, can't wait for more. The Strain on FX. So far I've only seen one episode. I'm a little behind on that one, but I really enjoyed the first episode. I was like, yeah, I'm totally watching this. I'm not really sure how to describe it. So far it's sort of like a vampire type thing, but it's a different kind of vampire. I like it. That's all I know. The Divide on Wii TV. Now, I wasn't sure I was going to like the show based on the trailer. Turns out I really enjoyed it. It follows a girl who works for the Innocence Project trying to exonerate uh, men on death row and it's just kind of like a thriller, mystery, I guess, type of thing. And it's really interesting so far. Satisfaction on USA. Another show that I didn't think I was gonna like at all. In fact, I was almost not gonna watch the first episode because I was like, eh. But I watched the first episode and by the end of it, I'm like, oh, I think I might wanna keep watching this. This is kind of interesting and it's lighter. So far, I'm still watching it. I've only seen two episodes. Still like it. So we'll see how it goes from there. It's about sort of, I guess, midlife crisis married couple that are having, I mean, so hard to explain because it doesn't even sound as good as what it is, but it's good. Finding Carter on MTV. I like the show, but I don't love it as much as I thought I would. Still watching it. I still want to see how the story unfolds. It's about a girl that had been abducted as a kid who is now placed back with her parents and she had no idea that she had been abducted, of course. So now she has to adapt with her new family. I think my only issue with the show is that sometimes Carter, the main character, can be a little annoying, but overall I enjoy it. Manhattan on WGN, which follows the scientist that created the first atomic bomb. Really good drama, I mean, it's heavy stuff, but yeah, so far I like it. Lottery on Lifetime, this is completely different than any other Lifetime show. I mean, I feel like other shows are usually geared towards a female audience and this is definitely not. I think both men and women can enjoy the show. It takes place in a world where women have stopped having children. It's by the same writer of Children of Men, if you've seen the movie, but it takes a sort of a different twist. They are able to create 100 embryos and decide to have a lottery of who's gonna be carrying the baby. And it's a thriller also with it. It's pretty good so far. I'm like, oh, what's going on? What's happening? Yeah. Extent on CBS. That's the new Halle Berry show. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it, but every episode I'm kind of like, oh, it's pretty good. It's entertaining. I love sci-fi. I love space stuff. I love the kid android. So maybe that's why I'm still continuing to watch because there are all these elements that make me forgive a lot of other stuff. It's it's good. Again, a little bit of a mystery, a little bit of a thriller. I see a theme going on here. The Nick on Cinemax. I've only seen one episode. I, at this point, I think I'm gonna maybe watch another one and see how I feel about it. It's a little too gruesome, some of it for me. I'm like, oh, I don't know if I wanna keep watching that. It's very rough, but it's, it's great performances. It's a good story. So we'll see. I should also mention uh, Dominion on sci-fi, which I sort of give up on, but I've been convinced to 
give another shot so I'll probably be watching the rest of the season for that and see where it goes from there and if I end up really liking it. And finally, uh, it's sort of a special mention because it's not really a new show, but it's a new show for me, is uh, Pitbulls and Parolis. It's a show on Animal Planet. It's a reality show that follows a pitbull rescue group in New Orleans, and it's such a good show. I discovered the show at the Television Critics Association this summer, and I've watched the season that they had on Netflix and then I had to buy the next two seasons because I was like I need to watch more of this show this is amazing. So the new season starts in September. If you like dogs, if you like pit bulls, I love pit bulls. You should definitely check it out. And that's it for me. That's a lot of shows that I realized that I'm watching and I've cut down on so much. So much. I mean I don't even really watch that many shows this summer. I haven't added too many, at least for me, I haven't added too many. So yeah, that's what it is. But of course, I'd love to hear from you guys and some of the new shows you've started watching this summer and that you love. So let me know in the comments. Is there anything that I should be watching that I am not watching or that I give up on? I hope not, because my schedule is pretty full right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet, and I'll see you soon. Bye.